Hi, and welcome to video four of my Perl introduction course. Um, probably going to take about another, I think, ten minutes or so for this this um, video, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're talking about regular expressions in this video, and regular expressions are a very, very powerful way to manipulate data, or at least to manipulate textual data. Um, so you can use regular expressions for string comparisons, string selections, and string replacements. Um, I'm only going to be covering regular expressions very briefly. Um, this is a very deep and very interesting um, subject, and I highly recommend that you go and you find um, more on regular expressions because they can really, really help you out when you're attempting to work with um, string data. So, the first thing that we're going to look at is that um, we're going to look for a match. So, this equals followed by the tilde sign is a symbol or a, uh, a way to tell Perl that we want to use a regular expression. Um, so, then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do an M for match. So, we want to match this. This um, formula of characters in th from the string, and if that happens, and that's a true situation, then we're going to print this line here. So this is a group. So within this, we can ha we can have a capital O, or that line means or a little o. So we would find either Obama as an uppercase or Obama as a lowercase. So let's go ahead and execute this. Sorry, I haven't switched over the files yet. Okay, so now we're, we're looking for Barack Obama, or at least we're looking for Obama within the string of Barack Obama. Um, then, because that string, where well, that substring is within the the string, um, we're gonna we have print out found the president. Um, so we can have here here's the operator to start using um, regular expressions. Like I said, you can have a matching, a substitution, or a translation. Um, the pattern goes within two forward slashes, um, and then you can do or statements um, with parentheses. So here is a little bit more of an in-depth look at uh, string comparison. So we're looking at another match. Um, so we want to match, but here's our string. Um, it's a postcode here in Oxford. Um, we want to match something that is A letter followed by a letter, well, a capital letter followed by a capital letter followed by a number. As we can see down here, this backslash D1 matches any digit between 0 and 9. Um, backslash S is a white space character, um, so space or tab. Um, and then we want to find a number followed by a, a letter followed by a letter. Um, and then it's going to print out the two separate parts because we can save this part as dollar one or variable one and we can save this part as variable two so here we go and there we go it, it finds it it splits it up and get, puts it into the two separate variables for us So what, what about if we want to take part of a string and change change the rest or change that bit of the string? So what we want to do is we, we do a substitution. So again, we're calling for a regular expression, um, but this time we're using S for substitution. Um, and then within the first set of um, forward slashes, we're looking for a number followed by two capital letters. Um, but then after the second forward, uh, and the dollar means at the end of the line. So it has to be 
at the end of the the uh, the line and either followed by the end the end line um, or sorry either by a backslash in or by a string terminator so what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're going to find that and then we're going to replace it with what's between the second slash and the third slash um, so when we run this We get that. So I got a little bit um, interrupted there. Um, so yeah, so this is how substitution works. Um, you you find the area of the string that you want to um, replace, and you replace it with the second bit. Um, so we have we have executed the code, and um, go ahead and um, the link for the book is in the description. You can get it from my site. Or you can get it from the Oxford University or the University of Oxford's IT portfolio site. Um, and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.